Hey guys, my here. Today I'm going to be doing a ACF tutorial solely focusing on guns and I'll do another part on the engines. Quite simply you have the guns tab and you have your ammunition tab. When you spawn a gun, let's say we go for a rotary auto cannon, you have no options to choose from, just the gun and that's it. All the options for how powerful it's going to be are going to be in your ammunition. So let's say I'm going to attach high explosive ammunition. This box here is going to be your ammo size, so that being the smallest one, and that being the largest. But before we spawn that, you have these three sliders here. They, they change and depend. They depend on what dimension type you're going to be using. But just for simple terms, put them all about halfway, and tracer if you want them. I'm going to spawn the biggest ammo crate. Oh, I forgot about that. And I forgot this drop down box here is for the ammunition type. We want an RAC. Because if you hover over your gun, you'll see it says 30mm RAC. That's the type of gun you want to attach it to. So in the list, you find it. Uh, there it is 30mm RAC. Oops. Your size and your sliders. Now in your tools, go back down to ACF menu, and you want to right click your gun, then right click your ammunition. Bottom right you see it says link successful. You want to go to your wire tab and get a button or constant value, and make sure the toggle is on 1, because we're going to be attaching these, this to our ammo crates to basically make it work. See so it has an active, you want to wire the active to anything with an output of 1, for example like this button. Now the ammo box is active, it will feed ammunition to your weapon. So again if we get another button of toggle of 1, wire our guns fire to the button, press it, and there we go. That's exactly it, that's all you need to get weapons working. Obviously you can play around with this and change values and whatnot, but that's all it is for the weapons. Now I'm going to be showing you how to use the mobility, like the engines. This is a bit more difficult than the other one, but once you get the hang of it, it's easy. In the mobility, we have engines and gearboxes. You have to always have a gearbox attached to an engine, otherwise you can't make any sort of wheel move. So we make a simple little test bench here. Oops. And I'm going to axes a wheel, doesn't matter which one. To my plate. See, it's just a simple axis. Right, in ACF, let's go to engines, and the engines go from one piston all the way down to twelve, and you have electric and turbine. For this, I'm going to choose any of them. Say an I4, petrol, no real reason. I'm just going to loosely place it. On all your engines, you'll have this little disc. That's basically the output of the engine. You always want that facing towards your gearboxes. Let's go down to our gearboxes. You have differential, transfer, and the different speeds. Only ones we're going to focus on are transfer, and it'll always be the transfer case. And I always use six speed. For a standard car, you know, two wheels at the back, you can use the transactional ones. So I'll just, um I'll get that out now. And a transfer case medium because we're going to make this four wheel drive because that's another thing most people don't know how to do. You'll notice on this you have one input here and two outputs on the sides. Those outputs are going to be facing towards your wheels and this input is going to be facing towards our transfer case which I'll show you how to set up in a minute. Alright, place your... oops... spawn two six speeds, my, my mistake. Place your six speeds just roughly edge to edge and your transfer case just roughly in the middle. Of course when you're making a car you want to make sure all this is position aligned. With the ACF menu, gonna right click your transfer case, 
and right click your gearbox and same for this side because as you can see this one's got two outputs and one input that's for the engine I'm going to loosely place our engine facing towards our transfer case. Again with the ACF tool, right click your engine, right click the transfer case so you can see the engine, transfer case, transfer case, gearboxes. Now if I get rid of that old wheel, place four wheels edge to edge and axes them again I'm just very loosely doing this and on our gearbox when you get to your ACF menu right click the gearbox right click the wheel right click, right click, and the same on this side I'm <laughs> not sure where that wheel's going but oh well, it works as you can see it sort of makes a little rope to show it's linked so that's the basic layout for a four wheel drive uh, setup now if we'll go to our wire tab and let's get an advanced pod controller and a seat and link them up by this advanced plug shower tool, right click, right click, and now go to your constant value and get a constant value of 100. You can just type it directly in. Then go to your gates arithmetic. And of course, all this can be done with E2, but this is just the basic. Go to multiply, place a multiply chip. Now our A to the multiply goes to the constant value, and the B goes to our pod controllers W. Now our engines active can go to the pod controllers active and the engines throttle can go to the wire gate. So if I press W and you're revving a bit. Now our gearboxes gear up, go to our pod controllers mouse one, gear down, mouse two. Stay on the back one, gear up mouse 1, gear down, mouse 2. So now if I unfreeze these wheels all I'm doing is pressing W and they're all moving. But what we're going to do because if you see this wheel is going backwards and this wheel is going forwards is in the ACF gearbox 6 speed transactional medium gearbox menu, you can see all these sliders the final drive is like how much it multiplies the engine by, so it basically halves the engine's output then by whatever gear in. We're going to set that to minus 0.5, so it basically puts it in reverse. So now when we press W, they're both going in exactly the same direction. And I can gear up with mouse 1 and, mouse, and gear 6, because you can see gear 6 here is a minus value means you'll put it in reverse. If you want to use stuff like the turbine, this works exactly the same as any other engine. It does not thrust it you know like like a like a jet engine would. This is very much as a standard engine. So if we go to ACF menu and right click that, right click your gearbox and you can see it's linked. I'll remove the old one. And it's got exact same inputs and outputs as any other engine. So it's got active and it's got throttle. So it's not used to propel planes, it's used exactly the same way as any other engine is. Alright, I think I covered all the basics there. If there's anything else you need to know, just leave a comment. Other than that, I'll see ya.